Okay, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for the continued love and support. Like, share, comments as well as subscribe. This message is for Capricorns. I'm not taking these cards up and I'm not moving them. I would just continue to read them as so because they're out here. Um, We had the five of swords that came out first. Okay, someone wants you to feel like all is lost, basically. Somebody wants you to show sabotage, okay? But what you didn't see with this two of swords that's down on the ground was the whole per the person in the background that was doing all this evil eye and ill intent towards you was an ex, okay? This person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Virgo, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This person didn't want people to see you for who you truly were, okay? Because this person was the reason why so many people was looking into your life Game stalking you, slandering you, gossiping and all that, okay? Because this person lied on your name so much. They try to discourage you or they try to, like, um, discriminate your character. Thank you, spirit. All right? That was what the hidden truth was the whole time with this four swords. Because everybody is getting revealed for their true color of who they are. It might have took some time for y'all to discover this and figure it out, but you got it, okay? We got the eight of swords. This person is going to jail because whatever they have done is their consequence, okay? Five of wands, this person was the reason for all of your blockages, okay? Why you was being blocked, why you was going through delays, your money, everything, okay? And this person was paying people to do this to you. Other tarot readers, all that. This person was going above and beyond to destroy you. Okay? Next we got out here. I'm going to do this last. Next we got out here is the High Priestess. The Page of Wands. The Strength Card. And the Herb Pump. For some of you, you have a child with this person. Okay? With this masculine energy, this toxic karmic masculine energy, okay, it's your ex, bruh. This person is a covert narcissist. They be trying to cloak and hide their energy, but you know who they are. Then we got the strength card. You had to regain a lot of strength from this person because of the damage they caused you and that they continue to do behind closed doors with the hermit card. Because when you thought that this person wasn't doing shit, they were. But some of you already knew. You you know how they say keep your friends close but your enemies closer? Yeah, you knew who this person were. It's just you was playing chess while this person was playing checkers. Anywho, now we got next is the seven of cups. This person was trying to keep you in a very delusional state. Because remind you, this person wanted to hold on to you. They feel like that you are theirs and only theirs. That's any narcissist. Like, they would think like that. Like, this person didn't want to let you go. So, because they didn't want to let you go, they wanted to destroy your life. Okay? And make it miserable. You know how everybody say, oh, I'm going to make your life a living hell or you're going to be miserable. Three, three, three. But they always be the ones that say, you going to need me or... You're going to wish you never did this, this, then the third to me because you're going to come back to me. And that was the wrong answer, Bucko. Okay? That was the wrong answer. We got the devil card. This person is corrupt. Full of corruption. They can't sleep. They're stressed out. They're worried. Okay? This person cries out of the blue because of the shit that they've been doing. And all they can think about is you because they fucking screwed you over. Okay? For some of you, this person may know who your counterpart is. Okay? This person may know who your counterpart is. Next, we got the Ace of Swords. Everything I'm saying is the truth. This is clarity and truth for those who've been wanting to know. If it's an ex that's trying to destroy your life, yes, it is. You hear it? Here, first. Live and full of fit. Now we got this King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The reason why you've been feeling like this person was probably like doing shit to you is because of your ex. This person, this this person, it could be a Leo, 
Who, honey, boo boo, this is a hot mess. If I tell you, this Leo or this water sign or this air sign or this Libra, whatever sign, just bear with me. The masculine that was sent into your life was here to love you. But because this ex kept on sending you psychic attacks, they didn't want you to see that this person loved you. So for some of you, you could have like put what your ex did to you onto this person. Damn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But the thing is, see, the reason why I like y'all collect, I'm saying collective, is because y'all take accountability. It's not like you're not blaming anyone. Because everybody know that you was under spiritual warfare. Because of this ex, they didn't want to let you go. They didn't want you to leave. And because you left them in the dust, they wanted to make your life a living hell. Fine, fine, fine. Now your story is being uncovered. Now you're putting the pieces together. This is the end of your story right here, bro. Capricorns. Okay? For those of you that have been trying to like figure out who was attacking you, why you was going through so much, why this, this, that, and the third, it's because this ex and their minions. Now you're able to have new love. I'm telling you, this person kept hexing you to make you feel disappointed, to make you feel like every relationship with every person you meet is unrequited. Some of these people was paid to come towards you to do this. But this person right here, no, they wasn't. This person was actually sent to you for a reason. It's just because you was in a lot of fog and under so much spiritual warfare, you couldn't see this person clearly. That's why I got, ooh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Y'all don't have no regrets. You're not supposed to. Everything is a learning experience. That's how I know y'all grown like shit. Y'all mature like a motherfucker. Is anybody else to be like, oh no, and try to rebuttal? Now nah, y'all taking that shit in like a G. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, bro, y'all funny as shit. I'm sorry, I'm loud.